everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this uh, cute little string of hearts cup cozy. This was a lot of fun to make and it's very simple and you can make this for a cup cozy, give it as a gift to somebody, your sweetheart or whatever and you know put a, put a mug together and put a tea, put tea bag in there or give them a gift card to their favorite coffee shop or put a mug with chocolates in there. There's so many ideas you can make with this cute little cup cozy and it's just a nice string of hearts. So I'll get into the supplies we need and talk about this piece and then we'll get into making it. So today you're going to need Red Heart Super Saver yarns. I'm using two colors here. We are using Red Heart Super Saver. This is a 10 ply size 4 worsted weight medium yarn. So you can use any cotton, any acrylic, any double knitting worsted weight. Um, even Aran yarn would work for this project. Um, but this one specifically is a medium size 4. So you can really use any any yarn you have. We're using the color cherry red and then we're using this color is perfect pink. So um, there's two colors you're going to need. You're not going to need a whole lot actually just a little scraps of each color because these hearts are quite small and uh, you're also going to need a small tiny button. We are using this red plastic button today to um, have here because we're going to button this together. If you don't want to use a button you can just sew these two ends together uh, just like this but we're gonna sh I'll show you how to make a buttonhole and everything so we can attach this and make the uh, cup cozy like that so you can put it around a mug but if you want to sew it and just um, have it around one of the travel mugs or something you can just do it that way so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to just make this one heart and um, then you can make these ones on your own and then we're going to sew this all together so you're going to need a J hook which is well this one is 5.75 millimeters usually J hooks are like six millimeters so you can use a J hook an I hook or even a K K hook go up to a K which is a six and a half millimeter hook you can do that as well just know if you make this um, with a smaller hook it's going to turn out smaller and this specific hook helped me um, in making this the 25 centimeters of an actual mug so that's about 10 inches around and when I measured the mug that I have here it's about 10 inches around Okay. Well, well, it's upside down, but you can see there's 10 inches around. So that's um, about, let me see here, between 23 and 25 centimeters. Okay. And this is quite stretchy. So even if you wanted to, it's not, well, it's not so stretchy, but you can make it a, with a smaller hook if you need to. So you're going to also need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn, sew in your ends. So these little appliques together and sew on the button. So keep those handy as well. So those are all the supplies we need. Before we begin making this though, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video. There's a link to my blog, yarnutopia.com, where you'll get the written pattern for this uh, cup cozy. And then also there's a link to my Facebook and Instagram, and I would absolutely love it if you shared your photos. So share your photo on Facebook and on Instagram. Make sure you hashtag yarnutopia. You can even tag me in your photos so I can see them on Instagram. You can follow me on Snapchat. I'm yarnutopia on Snapchat. So make sure you follow me there as well. And I have to say a really big huge thank you to my dad Fouad Osmet for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can get that update on when he posts our next video. So now let's get started and make this cute little string of hearts cup cozy. <laughs> Let's start out with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull that through and pull tight. I'm gonna start out with red and then uh, we'll go from there. Insert your hook in that loop, okay? And we're gonna start out by chaining three. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two and three. And now in the third chain from the hook, this very first, this furthest one away from your hook right here, we're going to put our stitches. So go into this yarn over twice. We're going to start off with a treble crochet. Okay, so yarn over twice. Go into this chain way over here. Okay, then yarn over and pull through. 
then yarn over and pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay, that is a treble crochet. So you had to make three of those. So that was one. So yarn over twice again, go back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those other two loops. Okay, another treble crochet, yarn over twice, go into that same chain, and make a treble crochet. Okay, so we have our chain here, then three treble crochets. Now we need to make three double crochets. So yarn over once, go back into that same chain, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops on your hook. That's a double crochet. Okay, so you have to make two more of those. So yarn over once, go into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and one more double crochet in that same chain. Okay, just like that. Then we're going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through one, and now in the same chain here, we're going to put a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Then we need to chain one again. And in this same chain, if you need to scoot these over, just a little bit, so making room for your other stitches here, we're going to put three double crochets. So yarn over once, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and another double crochet. Okay, just like that. So you can see the heart shape is starting to form. We just need to make three more stitches here. So let's make three treble crochets. So remember, yarn over twice for a treble crochet. And we're putting them in that center. Same chain. One, two, and last one here, three. Okay, now what we need to do is chain three. One, two and three, go down into that center ring, that center circle here, go in, okay, make a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, and pull through that loop that's on your hook. Pull it really tight, okay, and there you have a mini heart. So now we just wanna go on to round two of this heart here. We're going to chain up three, one, two and three and now we're gonna skip this chain here and this chain here we're gonna go into this treble crochet stitch right here we're gonna make a single crochet in there so go into that stitch yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops in that same stitch right there that we just put that single crochet in we're going to double crochet so yarn over go back into that same stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. In this next stitch, we're gonna hop into there and put three double crochets into there. One, go back in, two, go back in for three. Okay, so there's three double crochets all in that stitch. Going into the next um, treble crochet stitch right here, we are going to put two double crochets in there. So one and two. Okay. Now in these next three double crochet stitches, we're just going to put one double crochet in each one of those. So one in there, hop to the next, one in there, hop to this next one, one in there. Now we're at this chain one here, we're gonna put a double crochet into the chain one, not into the space down here, but we're actually gonna yarn over and go under this front loop here and this back loop here. Okay, so there's two loops on top. You can see one loop underneath there, okay? We're going into the chain, yarn over and pull through, 
then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. All right, now we're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through one, and in this treble crochet stitch right here, we're going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Just like that. Then chain one, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing we did on this opposite side here. So in this chain one right here, we're going to double crochet. So yarn over, go into this chain one, into the stitch itself. So these top two loops, there's a, a loop underneath there. Okay, we went into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one in there. Then each one of these next three double crochets gets one double crochet. One, one, and one. Then this next stitch, this treble crochet stitch right here, gets two double crochets. So one and two in that same stitch. Then this next treble crochet stitch is going to get three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now we have this one stitch left right here. We are going to put a double crochet in there as well as a single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, now last thing we have to do is chain three, one, two, and three, and then go all the way down to the center circle right here, the center um, mid circle here. Go into there, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. And then pull everything really tight. And there's your heart. So now at this point, three of these hearts are going to be just like this. And to fasten off, we're just going to chain one and then cut your yarn long and then continue to pull it all the way through and then you'll have your heart done. But one of the hearts, which I'm going to show you this one here, we are going to make a buttonhole. Okay, so we are going to, actually we slip stitched in here now, we're going to chain an amount, you can chain three or four. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, I'm going to chain four, four, and then go back into that same hole there in the center, yarn over and pull through, and pull through that loop on your hook. Okay, so we've created this loop that's going to be our buttonhole, okay? That's for one of your hearts that you have to make, okay? So then what we're going to do, I'm going to actually come and go around this piece as well. So fasten this off, I'm going to chain one. Again, cut your yarn if you want to, kind of long. Okay, pull that all the way through, pull tight. Okay, and that's the one with the buttonhole. So now we have this center here. If your center hole is kind of open like this, we do have this little loose end here that we can actually use to sew um, everything closed. So grab your yarn needle. Okay, yarn your needle with that short straggler in the center. There we go. And then we're going to go underneath some of these stitches around round one. Okay, and you can see I flipped this over. I'm looking at the back of the heart right now. So we're just going to pull that string through and you can see it kind of cinches it closed really nicely. Okay, so we want to do that for all the hearts if you have um, kind of a gaping hole in the center there. If you know how to do uh, the magic ring, you can start your hearts out with a magic ring. That way it will cinch the center closed right away and then you'll have you just eliminate this step of sewing that closed okay once you're satisfied with that you can cut that yarn just like that so there's the front of your heart there's your buttonhole just make one of these with a buttonhole I'm making one of the red ones with a buttonhole and then I made three of these where I fastened off where I showed you. Okay, so I made two in pink and one in red, uh, just regular without a buttonhole. Okay, just like this. So we have these four all done. 
okay? So I need you to make three more of these, just, um, you know, fasten off without a buttonhole. One of these has to have a buttonhole, okay? So this one's going to be on the end, uh, on the end here. Then this next one is going to be pink, and I'm going to layer these now. So now we're going to sew these together. So while you're making your next few, I'll show you how to sew these on. Okay, so we're going to line these up. This one's going to go over the top of this one, right at the edge, right at the bottom edge. And I'm going to use this um, long strand for sewing, okay, because we fastened off with a long strand. So I'm going to yarn my needle with that. We're going to position it right onto the bottom here. Okay, not too overlapping where you can't tell what that is behind there. You want to make sure you can tell that that is a heart shape. Okay, and we're just going to go into this heart here. Okay, and then we're just going to go up one end and then back down through the other side. And you want to just take your time with sewing, making sure... Um, you sew it tight and that you position it correctly. Okay, so I'm just going in and out of a few stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to come back through and do the other side. Them. Okay, then to fasten this off, what we're going to do is go through to the back side. Okay, I'm going to flip this over here. And now we're going to tie this in a knot. So we're going to go underneath a couple of stitches just like that. Okay, I'm going to keep my finger in this loop here like that. And then I'm going to come back around through that loop and then pull tight. And you can do that once or twice. Okay, that's um, kind of creator's choice on if you're confident that that's gonna be um, secure. And then what I'm doing here is I'm just sewing in this end underneath these stitches, just like that. Once I'm comfortable with that, I can cut this yarn and we can look at it in the front here and that's how it will look. Awesome. Okay, so now this is the end here, so now we have to go on to adding this red one here. And this red one is going to go over the top of this one, and then this pink one is going to go over the top of this red one. So I'm going to sew these two on, and then once I have these two on, I'll show you how to sew on the button, and then we'll finish off this cup cozy. All right, so I just sewed these two on now, so this is what it should look like. This is actually kind of cute. You could even have this as a wall hanging or something, but we want to wrap this around a mug. So grab your little button, and we are going to sew that on at the very bottom here. Uh, just grab your yarn needle and some yarn. I'm just going to use the same pink yarn here. And then we're going to position this where we want it. We want it right at the edge. And then we're going to go from the back here through the buttonholes with our yarn needle. Okay, and just going through like so. I have four holes on my button, so we're going to go through all four of those holes. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this over here, and we are going to cut this long strand, and then we're going to tie this in a knot to secure that button, just like that. And then we're going to take these two strands, I'm going to cut them just a hair shorter, and then I'm going to grab this yarn needle, yarn my needle with those two strands, and then sew them in underneath these stitches to hide those. 
And then you just want to make sure you sew in all your loose ends. Okay, take care of all those loose ends, stretch this out, and there it is. So now if you need to, you can block this piece if you want to pin it down on a, on a foam board or on a towel and then spritz it with water and like let it dry into the shape you need it to be, you can do that. Otherwise, just grab a mug, wrap this around it. Okay, this is for a standard size mug, so I have just a regular mug here. I'm going to stretch it just a little bit and button it behind the handle there. And then you'll need to, you know, position this, stretch it out, and make it look good. Just like that. And there you can enjoy a nice, lovely mug of tea or coffee. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning how to make this mug cozy. Uh, make sure if you make this to share a photo on Facebook or on Instagram and hashtag Yarnutopia so I can see this. Let me know what you're drinking in your mug today. Obviously mine's a dirty mug and it's, <laughs> and it's empty. So there's that. But thank you so much for watching. As always... Happy hooking!